All right, Cancer. Normally, I don't lay the cards out on the table for you here. This is a cure for cancer. This is a cure for cancer take two. I forgot to put my mic on for the first damn video. So you couldn't hear a damn word I was saying as I went through these cards. So I, fortunately, the cards were still on the table. So I'm just going to redo the video with the cards already out. Okay, I, I'm pissed at myself for even, you know, I'm sorry. But this is a reading you got to see. All right, this is... First of all, when I shuffled the deck, the Temperance card fell out in reverse. And uh, the bottom of the deck was the Queen, was the queen of Pentacles. Uh, your person is... And these cards were, were separate. This is what actions the person's going to take towards you. We'll get to those. Um, these cards told me that uh, your person is fearful that... Uh, you know, you're moving on or you found something else or other people are going to be interested in you and I said something clever like they're probably spying on you and sure enough, old Page of Swords came out here in the third card I pulled. Then we pulled the main reading here for the cure for cancer. Which, by the way, this is the cure for cancer. I forgot to say at the beginning. I was so mad at myself because I already said it on the first video. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, I promise you, you're here for a reason. Watch the whole playlist if you're new here. And watch my timeless readings. We're dialed into the Cancer Connection. First card that came out was, was uh, card of Leo. Strength. Cancer Leo axis. Most, you don't have to be dealing with a Leo. It could just be... It, it's the energy. Your person is behaving like a Leo. They have the frequency of a Leo, whether they're a Leo or not, or even know a Leo. It's all you need to know. Either way, Leo always shows up in these damn readings. Strength card. Your person's trying to get the nerve to come towards you, but clarified by the Nine of Swords, they're just doing about, they're injecting fears into it and pacing around the kitchen. They're, they're doing it all wrong. They're just, they're just frantic about this. The world, the universe is turning on this. One cycle's ending, another cycle's beginning. That's clarified by the King of Cups. Now, this is twofold. On one, for some of you, your person is not giving love to something else. And it wants to bring you a full cup of love. For all of you, your person is just not... This connection scares the crap out of your person. They're just not used to anything better than a half a cup of love. And this connection makes them feel more than they're comfortable feeling. But either way, the universe is stepping in. One cycle is ending, another cycle is beginning. They're watching you. And what I said in the first reading where I didn't have my mic on was they are watching the crap out of you. Uh, we saw it here with the temperance reversed and the queen of pentacles. They are watching the shit out of you. Um, they are, and that's, that got further backed up, clarified by the uh, king of pentacles, which always comes up in your cancer readings. The king of pentacles, it, it, they, they see you as everything. You have your act together. You are stability. You are awesome. You're probably out of their league. They're, they are, as always, they're presenting as a page. Um, and they think, again, with the temperance reversed and the queen of pentacles here, they think you might have other options. They're afraid someone else is going to snatch you up. It's part of this fear with the nine of swords. It's a, it's a time is running out, tick-tock, frantic kind of thing. And they're trying to get the nerve with the strength card to come in and talk to you. Next card that came out was the ten of cups. This is bookend with the strength card. The reason they're trying to get the strength to come talk to you is because you, the, your happiness. They know that you bring them a lot of happiness. Your connection is filled with it. That was further reinforced when it was clarified by the sun, which this is the minor arcana sun, and this is the damn sun itself, clarifying the minor arcana sun. Again, you bring them nothing but happiness. Now, on the plus side, this came out at the end here, okay? And what this is, this is the opposite of the moon. The sun has many meanings. It's not just happiness and bliss. It's the opposite of the moon. The moon is silent Bob. Your person's quiet, keeping things hidden in the shadows. The sun is Chatty Cathy. Your person wants to talk to you. And they're trying to get the strength to do it, but they're riddled with fear because this little page spying on this king of pentacles, they, they, you know, you are really awesome to this person. And this is hidden energy. I don't think a lot of you know that. This person, I can't emphasize enough, does not know how to deal with emotion. They don't know how to speak it and process it properly. So they end up in this damn discombobulated nine of swords, googly-eyed thing. They're trying to pull it together. Now, I asked at the very end, 
Give me three cards on what this person, what actions this person's going to take toward cancer. I got the judgment, followed by the nine of pentacles, followed by the two of pentacles. With a three card reading, it's the anchor card that matters, and then we read the two bookends. The anchor card is again this king of pentacles, basically. They see you as, well, it's twofold. One, they see you as independent, having your shit together. For those of you in a third party situation where your person's married with somebody, they're fixing to get themselves single. Or they are currently available to pursue you. Either or, they see you, in either case, they see you as phenomenal. They're intimidated by you a little bit. So we read the bookends. In, and the bookends say the same thing in either case, in either story or both stories. Judgment. They want to communicate with you. It's a card of communication. In judgment also says if you think this thing is dead, it's not dead. It's not dead. It's not gone. It's rising from the ashes. It's on a loop. This person does not want to let you go. And we knew that because when I pulled these at the bottom of the deck was the Four of Pentacles. They want to hold on to you. But this is also a card of fear. They have a lot of fear. It's a card of the miser, the Four of Pentacles. Misers are fearful people. They hide money in mattresses. And they sit there with a shotgun and make sure nobody comes get it. I've got a lot of them in the South. Right here. Your person wants to hold on to you and they fear losing you. And that fear is here in the Nine of Swords where they're trying to get the strength together and it's here. It's, it's attached with coloring. Look, you don't, you don't have to be an energy reader. Look at colors. Colors are energy. That's how we read cards. We look at if you if you're not an energy reader, you just look at the colors of the damn cards, see what ties together. The fear is attached to this two of pentacles. They're afraid to make it. They're afraid to make a decision, and they're afraid not to, all at the same time. And that causes this. That's a picture, an artist's representation of your person. Nine of Swords. So, this is going to spawn into an energy update for you very soon, day or two. Because I'm watching this. I'm watching your person. And I'm telling you right now, you're, you are in the, your person might be able to distract themselves during the day with work, maybe. But I'll tell you what. They are at night, up all night. You keep them awake at night thinking about this connection. Look at all this happiness. They want to move towards this. But they've never experienced anything like this before. And they're not good at dealing with their emotions. They're a very ego-based person. Very practical, very down to earth about money and all this other with money and career and all that whatever whatever it is and it causes a lot of fear within them i know they're up all night because i'm up all night i'm tied to this connection and and i tried at one point to disconnect from it and then i thought no you know what i'm gonna stay connected to this because there's a lot of cancers out there that are suffering i'm gonna help you guys through this well i'm gonna stick with you through this whole damn thing however long this soulmate wave lasts i'm gonna stick with you but we're going to see where this goes. I'll pull an energy update in a day or two. I want to watch this for a day or two. And I'm going to watch it. Every morning I'm going to get up. I pull my one card for my day. And I'm going to pull three cards for, for, for the cancer. And I'm going to pull three cards for all signs. And see what's going on. To see what energy updates I need to do that day. Uh, but I am going to watch this. I'm, I'm watching this specifically. So I want you cancers to know that. I'm like your weatherman for this person. But that's what's going on right now. That's your, cure, that's your latest cure for cancer here on May 17th, 2021. It's timeless. So whenever someone finds it, they could be watching it in 2027. It don't matter if the title pulled you in. If you found Steve's Love Tarot, you found it for a reason. And you found the video for a reason. I can't hammer that home enough. Cannot. I got a uh, mailbag going up to teach you a little bit about that type of thing that I just said. It's it's there. It's about uh, will be there. It's it's uh, a little some some card pulling tips, some intuition tips. Some it's about energy. Yeah, watch it if you get a chance. It might be interesting to you. Might not. I don't know. Either way. All right, Cancer. Stay tuned for ener any energy updates I think are necessary. And uh, this this is your latest cure for Cancer. Here we go. Oh my God. Crazy crazy stuff. But your person is spying. Like mad on you. I'm telling you. I said it in the first video that didn't get recorded. But I'll say it again. You put up an Instagram or a tweet. 
They've seen it in two seconds. That's the word I get from the universe. That's, that's what's in the energy. Two seconds, they know it's there. It's like they're watching. They have a special column set up and they're watching your hashtag or your handle or whatever you got. That's crazy. Because uh, in the original reading that didn't get recorded, when I looked at these cards originally, I said, you know, I'm, I'm sure they're watching you. I'm sure they're spying on you. And sure enough, this came out as the third card. It damn near floored me. Like, yeah, I knew that was coming. Anyway. All right. Good luck. I hope this reading was helpful to you. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all you subscribers. I appreciate everyone who shares stuff, too. It's very kind. Very kind. And for it, I know I'm getting some plugs out there as well. So I appreciate that, too. I'm sending good karma to anyone who plugs me. I'll tell you what. I'm trying to fix it to help some, uh, help as many people as I can here with this channel for sure. Right. Let's hope this one recorded and you're actually watching it. All right, here we go. I'm going to hit the stop button now. Keep your fingers crossed. Oh, my mic is on. We're good. You're probably going to hear.